So, why are we here today to talk about the Signet Nursing Strategy? So, this is really important um, because I think one of the really important things for organisations is to know where the vision, the direction of nursing is going. So, I think we wanted to have conversations with our staff, with our service users about what's really important in terms of nursing for them because nursing is the biggest work workforce in most health organisations. So, I think it's really important that we know the strategic direction of nursing from the board down, but also that actually we have some real workable, some measurables around nursing that actually we can deliver over the next three years, because I think this is really, really important. So, the current nursing strategy was due for review in 2019. I started with Signet in 2018, so we, it's been a real opportune time now in terms of reviewing the strategy. So we had a number of consultation events where we spoke to staff and service users. So within the strategy, we've got five key objectives and I'll talk us through those. Um, the new nursing strategy is, will have an implementation plan and each objective will have um, a, an objective leader. And I'm thinking a number of you will probably be involved in, in some of these objectives. The nursing strategy will be endorsed by the executive management team to ensure the highest standards of care continue to be delivered across the organisation. So, what are we going to achieve now in nursing? So our first objective is to have a robust career framework in place for nurses to enable them to have a rich and rewarding career with Signet Healthcare. So what does that mean? Well, I think one of the really important things is if I was starting out as a nurse in Signet today, what, what are my potential career opportunities? What does my career map look like? Now, some of you might find this strange, but I never had a career plan. So I think it was one of those things that I took opportunities as I progressed through the structure. And I think, but what we want to have a real map in place is if I'm a student nurse, a healthcare support worker, and I have a, an ambition to go through my nursing career, what that map potentially could look like and what opportunities. Now I think that gives us real opportunities around, okay, we've got our traditional nursing routes, but actually there's new innovative roles out there that we need to develop. Because we know that the challenges around nursing workforce and nursing recruitment won't go away and in lots of ways we're going to solve our own problems. And I think one of the things around that is to develop new and innovative worlds really so we can modernise the nursing workforce because I think nurses are, as well as our MDT, are multi-skilled professionals and I think we've got some real opportunities now in delivering a modernised workforce around nursing because we've had our traditional roles around healthcare support workers, now adding our nursing associates and our registered nurses, up through our clinical leadership structure, but actually it gives us real opportunities now to develop it into a much more fluid and modernised workforce. And also obviously, um, I know Justice is at the back with us. Um, I know we're, we haven't had our first qualification yet of nursing associates, but we have recently now over the last month um, seen our nursing associates join the NMC register, so I think that's a real um, step forward now for nursing because I think, if I think back when I started, which was a few years ago now, but there was only two real options to be a healthcare assistant or a registered nurse, whereas now we've got a career pathway in place right through nursing. So I think that's really, really important. So our second is to have a clinical strategy for the organisation that values all members of the multidisciplinary team to enable us to deliver evidence-based practice in line with local and national standards. And I think that's a real key, really. So what, what is our clinical strategy for Signet Healthcare? So if whatever service line in Signet we're working on, whether we're working on a CAMS unit, um, a psychiatric intensive care, what's our clinical direction, our clinical strategy around our service lines? So I think working with um, John, who's our, one of our regional medical directors, we're going to really have a think about what's the clinical direction of the organisation. Because we know where we, we need to grow and we know what the market is, but actually we need to know what the clinical direction of the organisation. So from our clinician's perspective, that's a really, really important one, but it's a, a very much an MDT um, focus. But I think I'll lead it as director of nursing, but it's really, really important that we, we know where we're going. Now, this is a big one for us and it links to earlier objectives to implement the Signet Academy of Health that prepares and educates our professional nursing staff to deliver high quality person-centered care. So what's the Signet Academy of Health? So the Signet Academy of Health will be a part of Signet 
that will educate and train our nurses. So if those of us who can remember schools of nursing that were attached to hospitals and trusts. So you've seen one or two pockets in the UK now where we're starting to develop schools of nursing. So in Oxford Trust, they've developed their own school of nursing. Um, and I think this is really, really important. So we had a meeting with our nursing board yesterday. And so we're starting now in September 2019, headed up by Caroline, our new um, nursing education lead. We will be establishing two courses for 2019, then moving to a further rollout in 2020. Now, I think our overall objective of this will be that at some point in the near future, we will train and educate our nurses because this is really, really important. And that's not just focused on post-registration qualifications, but it'll also be looking at pre-reg. So to implement the patient experience and service user engagement strategy that places co-production at the heart of our work, this will ensure that service users are working in partnership with our nursing colleagues. So this is really, really important because I think we've got a number of our service users, experts by experience in the room today, and you'll hear from Iris a bit later, and Dwayne is with us also. Give us a wave, Dwayne. Um, because I think the one thing that's really impressed me at Cigna is that co-production is really, really at the heart of everything we're doing. And when I was talking earlier around our QI strategy, what we'd really, really like to do in the future is we'd have a network of QI coaches, but also we'd like our experts by experience to be um, QI coaches with us, because I think it, that will really, really take it into a different domain. And I think we'll have our service users being experts and telling us exactly how we should transform, develop our services. So I think that will be a really, really key. So I think even though at times it feels we've got more to do, I think we are a lot further on than a lot of our um, partner organisations. So I think we should take our hats off really in terms of the co-production, the expert by experience work. And Raf's not here yet. I'm hoping he'll join us a bit later, but Raf's done a tremendous job in terms of pushing that agenda forward. So I want to say a real big thank you to Raf for that work really. So the final one, to make Signet Healthcare an attractive option for nurses throughout their professional career, ensuring we provide an environment for, for care where we embed the values of the organisation while also ensuring that our nurses are cared for, valued and pride, provide a strong and unique contribution to the multidisciplinary team. Now that's really, really important and I think Jenny, who you heard from earlier, we're doing a lot of work around not just the training and development, but the values work, also we, we started to develop an eye care programme for our clinical leaders around, so if I was a new member of staff within the organisation, what does care for an individual member of staff look like? Because we talk a lot about caring for our patients and service users, and that's absolutely our core business. But if we want to value and take forward our staff, we also need that element there. And also we're looking at the nursing structure now because we've got new innovative roles and we'll have new roles in the future. So it's really important that we actually look at that structure, titles. Um, we did some work a couple of weeks ago and we've got over 600 titles in the organisation, which seems a lot. Um, and I think this, this objective links very nicely really right through the others because it's really about our career development, it's about our training, education, about our values. It's really, really important that we can take all of this forward. So. What's next? So as a nursing board, so all of my team that you met earlier, and RAF also is included in that, um, we will be taking forward each of these objectives and are developing a plan. So Caroline will be working on establishing the Signet Academy of Health, which actually I, we're, I think we're all really excited about because I think we've got two courses earmarked for the end of 2019, one on co-production and another on quality improvement. So I think that will give us a real start in terms of the training, development, education of our nurses. So I'm really, really um, pleased with that. So that's the strategy. I just want to say a couple of words, really. So I've been with you now seven months, been really, really impressed with the quality of nurses, the quality of nursing within the organisation, because I think we've got really complex services and actually they're doing really, really well. And I think it's down to the quality of nursing, the quality of the MDT care. So my final bit really before I open it up for any questions is, um, so I've been with you seven months now, I'm really pleased, proud and privileged to be your Director of Nursing and thank you for making my first seven months really welcome and let's look forward to the next 20 odd years like Victoria. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs>